Christie, Moira. It's official. The Washington Capitals took a 4-3 win over the Buffalo Sabres which means. Does that mean the Montreal Canadiens miss the playoffs? That's right Christie, they are the first team eliminated from playoff contention. Washington Capitals made a 4-3 win over Buffalo Sabres, which means. They are. Eliminated, from playoff contention. That means no playoffs for the Montreal Canadiens. Oh my goodness. What went wrong with the Canadiens? Here's how the Montreal Canadiens season went wrong. The absences of Carey Price, Shea Weaver, and Joel Edmondson, the combination of major injuries and personal absences to number one goalie Carey Price, captain and defenseman Shea Weaver and sturdy defenseman Joel Edmondson, devastated the Canadian structure. Price has not played this season, recovering from off-season knee surgery and time spent in the NHL slash NHL player assistance program, being treated for substance use. Weaver has not played this season due to a foot slash ankle injury, and it's likely he'll never play again. Edmondson missed the first 58 games of the season due to a back injury, being in the COVID-19 protocol in an absence, for personal reasons, returning March 12 against the Seattle Kraken. Another reason how their season went wrong, was, a very bad start, Montreal lost its first five games in 11 of the first 14, 3-10-1 then proceeded to have separate losing streaks of 7, 6, and 10 games to reach a record of 8-33-7. Those results are not surprising given that the Canadians were last in the NHL in goals per game, 2.48, and goals against per game, 3.82, third lowest in team save percentage, 0.887, and fourth lowest in penalty killing, 74.3%. And a final reason that went wrong, was, organizational chaos, the results from the start of the season put immense pressure on ownership and eventually changes began. General Manager Mark Bergevin was fired November 28 after a 6-15-2 start. Jeff Gordon was hired as Executive Vice President of Hockey Operations the same day and Kent Hughes was hired as General Manager on January 19. Coach Dominique Ducharme was fired February 8 with a record of 837 and replaced by interim coach Martin St. Louis. There is also reasons for optimism. The new regime, Gordon, Hughes and possibly St. Louis deserve a chance to show how they are going to correct the Canadians trajectory. A fresh start with a clean slate next season will be their opportunity. The management team has added former NHL forward Vincent LeCavalier as a special advisor to hockey operations, hiring him February 18th. That adds depth to the management team. St. Louis, who was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame as a player in 2018, has guided Montreal to better results, 973, since being hired and likely has the inside track for the job next season if he wants it. There will be some abundance of draft picks, through trades, Montreal has accumulated extra picks and has 14 for the 2022 NHL draft at the Bell Center on July 7th to 8th. That includes two first round picks this year. Unless it wins the lottery, the picks from this year are unlikely to impact the roster for the coming season. But if Montreal takes advantage of the volume of picks with strong scouting and astute selections, it will go a long way towards shoring up the foundation of the franchise, a narrative already begun with the emergence of young impact forwards Nick Suzuki, 22, and Cole Caulfield, 21. And if Carey Price returns, there is no timetable for Price's return, but the 34-year-old, who was 13-9 with a 2.28 goals against average and .924 save percentage in the playoffs last season, is back in regular practice with the Canadians, a strong step in his recovery. Given his career credentials, 360 wins, 257 losses, 79 overtime losses, 2.50 goals against average, .917 save percentage. 49 shutouts, the impact of his potential return, especially with a fresh start next season, should not be underestimated. Yeah. Hopefully they will turn things around during the off-season. 
we will find out who will be the next NHL team eliminated from playoff contention.